Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is the June Bambox Horror, which I'm pretty excited about because I have a feeling I know what the autograph is going to be, and if that's the case, I'm pretty, pretty excited. Uh, I think there was one other property in this that I had seen. Oh, now I remember. I'm not going to tell you because when I get it out, I'll just say this was the property, but there's one property in particular for this box that I was like, oh, I'm excited to see where this goes. Once again, like the original box, if you didn't see my original original box unboxing, go back and check that out. Um, like that one, I hope that the, the property that I'm most excited about is the art print because I love to put those things on my wall. So let's check out this June uh, BAM Horror Box and hope for the best. Let's, let's hope for, uh, you know, maybe a one-up or something. That'd be nice. All right, tissue paper from a cat. Oh, come on, man. There's another one that I'm just going to get this out of the way. So there was something kind of like this in the original box. Sorry, spoilers, but please check it out. Pause here. Go check that out. Come back. Whatever. I hate uh, I hate when they kind of like duplicate things, but let's see. Yes, it looks like it is duplicated, too. All right. Whatever. And this is what? Okay. So it's obviously one of like the animation pages or cells. Oh, uh, okay, I see what it's from, because I was just like, what, how is this going to be horror? Um, must be a horror cartoon, it's uh, from the cartoon Tales from the Crypt, which I don't think I've ever watched, so I don't really care that much about this, and the one I got is whatever, it kind of looks like a witch, basically, I mean, it's well drawn, obviously, but, and then... Yeah, the no Oop, sorry, hit the microphone. Then you have like the numbers down there. Not 100% sure what that signifies, but okay. It's not big on that. Not a thing. Not a thing. I'll throw that over here. Let's hope for better stuff here. Next. Next. Oh. Is. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I knew we were going to have something from Elvira, and this is Mistress of the Dark Elvira. It's a card. I don't, I don't understand. Okay. I do like Elvira. She's cool. She's an icon. I don't just like her because of her bustage. I like her because she's cool. Uh, everything I've heard, she's pretty nice. So it's just a card, and it just says BAM, oh, BAM and Dynamite. I guess this is a BAM exclusive, actually. It says so on here. Uh, played by actor or actress-writer Cassandra Peterson, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, has carved out a niche, niche or niche in popular American culture that is sure to endure for decades to come. Elvira's reign as Queen of Halloween has many accomplishments, including the best-selling female costume of all time. This BAM box exclusive card is based on the Cassandra Peterson photo cover art to the Dyna uh, Dynam Dynamite comic premiere issue. So really, it's just a small version of a comic book cover, I guess, if you wanted to see what's written there. There you go. I don't really care for this. I gotta be honest, it's a card. You know, I mean, at least when they did, like, the Bianca Thompson, like, art cards, it was, like, art. Like, someone made art. This has been you know, printed off a bunch. I know it's exclusive because it was done with BAM. I I appreciate that it's something different, but I'm not excited about it. It's eh for me. Um, okay, the pin. It's a good pin. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the property I was most excited about is not the art print, I don't believe, unless they duplicated it, which would be fine with me, but it is the pin, which people know I love, love, love the pins. And this is a nice, nice pin. I like this a lot. So I'm a fan of Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I know some people say it's a terrible movie, but it is an awesome movie in my opinion. It's a lot of fun. The Kyoto Brothers did an amazing job with these special effects and directing it and everything and outstanding. It's absurd, but it works. Uh, also by Creator Destroy, who did the pin for the last one. This looks so good. It is one of the Killer Clowns. Look at that. Look at that. These clowns are so iconic because they look so damn good. They look so good, man. You, you've got to admit, that's a really sweet pin. <sighs> All right. That may very well end up being my favorite thing in here. Mm, well, I think I know what the autograph is, so that might be a second. But anyway. 
The art print. Oh yeah, that's right. Why do I keep forgetting this stuff? This is the third installment in the Ken Hazer, Ken Heiser um, horror art prints. It's like horror legends. The first two were outstanding. I figure this one will also be outstanding, and you're going to be able to put all three of them together. It's going to be great. Uh, yeah, and this is the third out of three. Mm. Little, oh, a little disappointed, though. Oh, I'm a little disappointed that there's one particular icon, legend, who's not on here. And a newer one that is instead, that I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know about this. But no, I mean, like, the artwork is outstanding, and there's a lot of awesome going on here. So obviously you have Pumpkinhead up top, you have Victor Crowley, that's the one I have a bit of an issue with. Victor Crowley is, like, super new, and I would have liked to see the tall man from Phantasm in that spot instead, because, I mean, it's selfish, it's because I'm a fan. Um, Freddy Krueger, obviously, Pinhead, love, 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 Pinhead. Three of the puppets from Puppet Master, and Billy from Saw. So, it looks good, man. A good finish. I can't wait to just put these things together and uh, see how that goes. Although, interesting. I thought it w I saw some pins in one of my other ones. I'll have to see how these fit together. Uh, so, this is number 449 of 1500. And, like I said, I'm excited to put these together. It's going to be epic. Epic. All right. Now the autograph. Pretty sure I know. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, spoiler, if you haven't seen the OG unboxing, go to that. Or if you don't care about me spoiling something, then continue. Uh, it's the same autograph. So, I don't like when they do this. Um, I I would say at least if you're going to get the same autograph for the, for the boxes, space them out. Like, do one one month and do the other one for the other box like some months down the road. Because there are people like myself who get this box get both the boxes every month, so we're getting the same autograph. There's no variety there. So that kind of bothers me a little bit, but in this case, I'm actually good with it because I don't like the version uh, that I got in the OG in comparison to what I assume I have here for the horror one. So it is Matthew Lillard, and yup, there you go. What's your favorite scary movie? It's Scream. Yes. That, that looks good, too. I like that. That looks nice. And there's his autograph. Oh, man, I like this. I really do like this. I will I will reiterate real quick for people who may not have watched the original box unboxing for June. Um, I really like Matthew Lillard. I think I like him most for his role in the movie Hackers, which I really love that movie. I know it's not a good movie. It's just like Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Not a good movie. But I love it for some reason. Hackers is the same thing. I love it, and I loved his character of serial killer. He did such a good job. He also did a great job in SLC Punk. Like, he's a good actor. Always has been. And he was awesome in Scream, too. So I'm just really happy to have his autograph from a horror property. Um, would have preferred Hackers in the original box, but to be honest, how many people would, <laughs> would like that? There are not that many people out there who are Hackers fans. So I understand. But... That's good. That's really good. Uh, three of the items I really like in this. So, very nice. Very, very, very nice. That is very awesome for me. Love it. Let's look at the spoiler sheet. I hope there aren't things on the spoiler sheet where it's like, if you had gotten a one-up, you would have really loved this. Okay, so the Matthew Lillard variations for his signature, there were two different prints. Uh, I think the one I got, I am I prefer to the other print, but they were also inserting masks, screen masks that were signed, as well as fake uh, knives that were signed. Um, you know, I'm still good with having the print and the one that I did get, so I'm still good with that. So, lucky for me. Then you have the exclusive Elvira limited edition card. Let's see if it says anything additional about it. Uh, this BAM exclusive limited edition card of Elvira is based on the Cassandra Peterson photo cover art. It's a Dynamite comic premiere, yada yada yada. It comes encapsulated in a pro mold card holder. I mean, I like that it's in the card holder, but it's just really, you know, I don't really care about cards at all, so it's just not my thing. Uh, then the One of a Kind Tales of the Crypt Keeper animation uh, pencil sketch. I don't really care for that that much, but it is what it is. Not my thing, but that's fine. 
then there's no variation actually in the print, the Ken Hazer or Heiser print. Um, <laughs> I love that Killer Clowns from Outer Space was the pin. Um, just that it was in this box, uh, that's great. And the three pins were three of the clowns. So I got the, the normal one. Honestly, you could not lose no matter what you got here. So there was a 250 and a 99 as well. They all looked outstanding. For some reason, I'm sorry, it's not my video. For some reason, the picture is darker. Like they look kind of blue tinted, but they're actually not, well, I guess they're a little darker, but they're not like blue tinted. So sorry, it just kind of looks weird, but they all look awesome. And then they were doing a giveaway, uh, win a Cassandra Peterson Elvira Mistress of the Dark hand signed Funko Pop, which is cool. I think I would like, one day I would like to have a hand signed Funko Pop, but I don't know if that's ever really gonna happen. But let's recap. Uh, art print, great. As were the other two in the series, big fan. Uh, autograph, obviously very great. Really, really love that. that has to be my favorite thing in this box. That was awesome. And the pin, the pin is awesome. Um, so overall, I mean, there were two things I didn't really care for, but you know what is so trivial? The three things that I really liked, I really liked. So this is pretty much a home run for me for, for this box. Um, the original was, was decent, was pretty good. I was happy with that. Uh, I'm glad that I opened the horror box second because it just went from like, yeah, this is pretty good. I, I'm, I'm happy with this. That's good, To I am pretty stoked, actually. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, I can't wait to show my wife this stuff. She'll be happy about it, too. Not that she likes it, but she'll be happy for me, is what I mean. So, anyway, man, I feel like kind of giddy because I just like this. Um, Adam MacArthur, uh, shout out to you, man. Running Bambox. You've been doing a really good job. I know a lot. there are a lot of people who, you know, throw some some issues out there that they have from time to time or say, I don't like this, I don't like that. I mean, I say it on the video, but I always make sure to wrap it up and say, overall, they're still doing a really great job. You're not going to please everyone all the time, and you're trying hard, you're doing a great job. I recognize that uh, if I'm critical at all, it's not personal. It's just I don't like certain things, and I'm going to let people know because I want to be honest. Uh, and that's a good reason for people to subscribe to my channel so that when I do put out videos for these unboxings and other things, uh, that you know you're going to get my honest opinion. I'm not going to hold things back. So if you guys have ideas for things that you want to see videos-wise, uh, send me an email, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com, and brutal is B-R-E-W-T-A-L, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. Uh, it's that because I actually do a craft beer podcast, so if anyone is also interested in that, you can just look up Brutal Battle. There's a website. It's on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play. Um, you can Google it, whatever. So if you like craft beer and you want to check that out. I've been doing that podcast for about five and a half years, so I do know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, thanks again, everyone, for checking this out. Uh, tell some friends about the channel. And until next time, keep it brutal.